today. I was gonna tell Mitch and Ryan that I was delighted to see them, but they've already gone. And you know what, for those of you who don't know me, I am Kay Hagan, the former U.S. Senator from North Carolina. And I wanna thank Father Ventures and St. Jerome's for hosting this 136th annual Family Farm event. You know, I feel right at home here. I'm an elder in the Presbyterian Church. I've taught Sunday school for a number of years. But you know what surprises me? There are so many Republicans on stage today. Most of the Republicans I've known have abandoned Donald Trump. I also want to give a shout out to Jim Gray. I know the next time that you're going to be here at Fancy Farm, Senator Rand Paul will not be on stage. And Mitch McConnell is going to go by a name that he knows well, the Minority Leader. And you also don't know, but I come from a strong military family. My dad, my brother, my husband were all in the Navy. My father-in-law was a major general in the Marine Corps. And I have two nephews right now on active duty. One's a Navy SEAL and the other one's an F-15 fighter jet pilot. And I want to give a huge shout out to all of our military active veterans and their families who sacrifice so much for us every day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Coming here today, I'm reminded of a bill that I signed a number, that I voted on a number of years ago. It would have secured and increased benefits and retirement pay for our country's veterans. 56 senators signed that bill. Senator Mitch McConnell and Senator Rand Paul voted against helping our veterans. I'm also reminded of a bill that we had in 2012. 58 U.S. Senators voted to provide veterans with better access to skilled jobs. Senator Mitch McConnell and Senator Rand Paul once again voted against helping our veterans. I'm also reminded that neither Senator Paul or Senator McConnell spoke out against the cowardly attack by Donald Trump on a gold star family. The Khan family lost a son in Iraq and Donald Trump belittled them. You know what? This year, your governor, Mark Bevan, refused to fund a veterans facility in Bowling Green. A few months ago, he vetoed a bill that would have made it easier for veterans to find good work in Kentucky. Although your Republican leaders disagree with each other on a lot of things, they seem to have a strong record of coming together to deny much needed help to our veterans and service members. Well, Mitch and Rand support a candidate who said that Senator John McCain, a Navy veteran and a war hero, was not a war hero. Well, he said he always wanted a Purple Heart, but it was too hard to earn one. Well, I sat with Senator McCain on the Armed Services Committee and let me tell you, he earned his Purple Heart. He earned it when his plane got shot down. He earned it five and a half years in, as a prisoner of war. Y'all, it's imperative that we have a commander-in-chief like Hillary Clinton, somebody who has served on the Armed Services Committee. She's helped our military families. She's helped to provide help to all veterans, Americans, to have health care and good jobs. Hillary has had our back from day one, and it is time we have our back near. 